You know the phrase, basketball never stops. Well, NBA action is still going on with the 2022 Las Vegas Summer League, where the New York Knicks began competition this week. And out covering the Knicks in Sin City is New York Post reporter Zach Braziller. Zach joins me now from Vegas. Zach, good to see you, man. The Knickerbockers played their first summer league game on Friday night. It was a 101-88 to win over the Warriors. Quentin Grimes led the Knicks with 24 points. So how important are these games for the second-year shooting guard? No, it, I think it's really important just because of the time he missed as a rookie. You know, he had COVID, and, and then he – he hurt his knee. So it, it is important for him to build off of what was a solid rookie year if you don't take into account the injuries. And, you know, he said his goal was to dominate Summer League. And he, you know, he had a, a bad start yesterday, but after missing eight shots in a row, he ended up finishing with a terrific game 24 points, eight assists, four rebounds. And what impressed me the most was it wasn't just shooting threes. He had four threes, but he was attacking the basket. He, he had a few and ones. You know, I think that he wants to show there's more to him than just being a three point shooter. He will have the chance to show that here in Summer League. Now, Jericho Sims. He was also impressive in the first summer league game. He had a double-double, Zach. And with Todd Gibson being waived recently, uh, will Sims have an expanded role next season with the Knicks? No, he's an interesting guy because he was the 58th overall pick. He was kind of an afterthought at this time last year, and he really showed you something in the second half of the season. He's a really good rebounder. He finishes around the basket. No, he's kind of like Robinson where he's not really a, a, a shooting threat. You know, he's going to be their number three center behind Robinson and newcomer Isaiah Hartenstein. But look, we all know Robinson is injury prone, so, you, so having Sims there will be significant. You know, foul trouble also. No, look, I, I don't think he's going to have a huge role on this team, but I do think he will have a role on this team. And look, we all know, we all know injuries happen. And he's, you know, he's now on a on a roster contract here. He's got a three, you know, three year deal. I think the, I believe the first two years are guaranteed. So he's clearly going to have, you know, a spot on this team. And you all, you, you know, kind of like Grimes, you want to see these guys play well. It's the results aren't as important as seeing these guys who are going to be part of the team, you know, have some nice moments. So speaking of playing well, Zach, for Knicks fans watching Summer League, who else on this roster right now, the Summer League roster that is, should they keep an eye out on in Vegas? You know, you have Trevor Keels, the second-round pick out of Duke. He was a guy that some people thought could even be a first-round pick. He, you know, he's a physical, tough guard. He's, his shot needs some work. He, he needs to get in some, into better condition. But he's obviously, you know, he's someone you keep an eye on. And then there's Farron Hunt, who played really, really well yesterday. He's a really athletic forward. He came to the Knicks on a two-way contract last March. So he's another guy that that's kind of, you know, someone someone uh, I would keep my eye on. And then lastly, you know, Gene Montero. And Miles McBride are two guards that are that are fascinating. You know, McBride was a second round pick a year ago. Didn't really have a have a big role on this team, but he can shoot a little. He's a good has a reputation as a good defender. And then Montero, who people thought would be a second round pick, went undrafted. He signed an exhibit ten deal with the Knicks. He played in the new high school league overtime elite. You know, he's a playmaking guard who's looking to you know find a niche here in the league, whether it's with the Knicks or someone else. And I you know I expect him to to play a lot more in you know as we get as we go through here in the summer league. Well, fans will have their eye on the summer league. A lot to look forward to seeing if the Knicks can win that summer league championship. What I'm hoping for our guy Zach Braziller is that he gets a championship ring, which the players will get. The <laughs> summer league. Zach, those look nice, man, for the summer league. They all, those, those look nice. I'm, listen, I'm hoping that you can get one too, man. You've been doing a lot of good work <laughs> covering the Knicks for the New York Post. Good to see you, man. All the good work there out in Vegas, and we'll keep our eye tuned and watching the Knicks and see what they do. Thanks for joining me, man. All right, buddy. Have a good one.